Since I was a kid, I've been absolutely fascinated by sharks and the ocean. My name's Steve Woods. I'm originally from the UK. I first started working as a photographer back in England, working for newspapers as a press and sports photographer. The reason why I started to work as a press photographer, romantically, I wanted to change the world. I wanted to stop the injustices that I saw, I read about. So for me, it was a natural progression, having such a deep love for the oceans and then starting to work underwater. It was absolutely simple to me. We have to stop the human impacts that are happening. And people don't know they're happening unless you show them. Visual language is so important nowadays. If you're able to show people what's happening, you can change people's minds. But you have to be able to show them. After working in marine conservation for four or five years now, I've really gained a different perspective on natural world and humans and how we impact the natural world. For so long, I just thought that natural world was just there and we could just go and experience it. But more and more you can see and you can understand that everything that we take for granted is in change. It's all in flux. I've ended up meeting some fantastic people who are really engaged with understanding and trying to change our behaviours in order to benefit environment, not using plastic, of reducing your carbon footprint, of reducing your impact on the world in order to protect the wildlife. I think the dive industry has a duty to protect the marine environment. The most important aspects of environmental conservation is involving the local population. Actually, I think it's a really positive story for me at the moment in Roger Ampat. There's a really positive future. And speaking to other people who have lived here for the time that I've been away, because of the protection and because of their effort working with the communities, it seems that the marine environment is coming back even stronger than it was before.